Hi there Capricorn, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your intuitive reading, your weekly reading for September 28th to October the 4th. Cappy, let's see what's on the cards. I'm going to get started with the Work Your Light Oracle from Rebecca Campbell to see. No, that's too many guys. If it was two, I'd take it. Um, see what the overarching message or theme is for you. Wow, okay, that pretty much leapt across the room. Yes, just say yes. Now, this is a very strong divine confirmation here, Capricorn. If you came to the reading today with a, an, a question that you needed a yes or no answer to, this could be your answer. It's a green light to move forward. And when this card comes in, it says, don't overthink it. Just say yes. And, you know, sometimes the intellect, I mean, it, it, has its, it has its moments and it has its good points, guys. But we want to make our decisions from fact, logic. What do we know about the situation? What do we know to be true? You know, what are the numbers? What are the What is actually happening here? And our intuition. What do we feel? What does our gut tell us about it? Well, let's get your yogic path card. we go dharma wow okay dharma you know that's the energy of your it's your life purpose guys so this this question this this yes might be um you know you might be wanting to move into a different career you might want to be moving into your life purpose maybe you've got a side project that you've been working on or something that you've wanted to start a creation that you've wanted to bring through and dharma is really saying that yes it is time for you to move capricorn towards your life's purpose here look it's got the same kind of pyramid here it's almost like a very directional kind of energy here i'm feeling empress i'm feeling the energy of creation we'll see what comes up pulling the recent past energy capricorn energy is leaving completing or transitioning in your life what you have been journeying that has led you to this moment. Did it flip? I saw it, yes. The Nine of Cups. <laughs> what a beautiful energy, guys. That is the wish fulfillment, contentment that comes by following your Dharma, by connecting with your Dharma. Let's get the energy of the focus energy. Well, Okay, that is turned over in my hands. So it is the, the Ten of Wands and the Three of Swords. Okay, how do we get, get onto a Dharma? We release what is not in alignment with that. Near future outcome energy, please, for Capricorn. And there goes the exploration of the new opportunity. Guess what I have at the bottom of the deck, guys? The Ten of Cups. Now, tell me that you don't want the Ten of Cups. We've got the Nine and the Ten here, guys. Let's clarify. Emperor. Energy of Aries clarifies the Nine of Cups. Clarifying the Three of Pentacles. I was expecting to see that in the Seven of Swords. Clarifying the Page of Wands now, Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Hmm. Capricorn, what I'm seeing here is it's time for you to make fundamental steps, shifts and moves towards your life's purpose, towards your dharma. You're being pushed towards that, you know, I think the promise is great, you can feel it, but it's saying here that there might be some things that are not in alignment with that at the moment in your life that need to be released in order for you to truly explore whatever this is for you. And it is a general reading, guys, so what your purpose is, your calling, it's going to be different for every one of you. For some of you, it could be being a parent um, you know, bringing another another soul into this life. For others of you, it could be having an amazing career. 
you know, for others of you, it could be, you know, relocating to that place that you just feel completely connected to the land. It, many different things about life's purpose. So in the energy of the, the recent past leading up to this moment, I have the Nine of Cups and I have the Emperor energy of Aries. So I really feel that you can, you can kind of feel this coming, right? We've got the Nine of Cups here. We've got the Ten of Cups over here. I think some of you might have already started to to take some fundamental steps along this journey. Like generally the, the emperor is a bit of an awakening to the fact that you are the one that's in the driver's seat of your life here, Capricorn. You know, you are the one that can shape your world to lay that foundation towards your life's purpose. You know, and I kind of feel that maybe you have been already doing that. You know, the emperor is an energy of really having that you know, that, that fixed gaze, that eyes on the prize of what you want to go after and putting the the practical steps in place to, to go about and get it. You know, we've got the, the Knight of Pentacles in this reading. It's about the efficient steps. It's about building the foundation to take, you know, to build the house on. <clears throat> if we do that in a solid way, then we don't, we don't build a tower, right? We build a castle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we have the, the Nine of Cups that says, I feel like you are already experiencing a certain level of content. <clears throat> Sorry, Capricorn. A certain level of con content or satisfaction from the steps that you have already taken. And that has probably fueled your fire because now you can feel that Ten of Cups. It's closer than you thought. You can feel that your successes are bringing you towards what you desire. The universe is saying, yes, you're on the right path. Yes, keep going. Yes, what you're feeling is real. Yes, you are moving closer towards it. However, this week is a unique opportunity to remove some kind of block along the way, a roadblock. There's a hurdle to go over that is going to lead you to this Ten of Cups. So look at the cards here, guys. We've got two threes, three, three. You know, that is the number of, you know, creation. Um, you know, it is the number of uh, saying that Ascended Masters are, are with you, are guiding you this week. So we've got the Three of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Swords, we've got the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. So, you know, potentially with that Seven of Swords, there could have been some deceptions or hurts in the past, or maybe you've been recently journeying them. This can be the energy of, what's the intellect? It's the swords. Maybe somebody undermined you, manipulated you in some way. It can be your own self-limiting beliefs, um, you know, your own kind of sense of self-lack that could be taking from you, taking you away from this opportunity. So it's really important that we clear that energy because that's going to put us in a sense of um, limitation or, or, or playing smaller than we truly are. I'm feeling like it does involve somebody else though, just with the Three of Swords here. I mean, the Three of Swords here, you know, is an energy of, of hurt, of, of sorrow or disappointment, heartbreak, that kind of thing. So it really says that this week there is a, some healing that needs to be done and it could be from the past or it could be from now. But healing this wound or this old wound is fundamental to getting to the next stage. You know, sometimes we do, we're going along, going along, we're creating, we're moving closer to purpose and all of a sudden something from the past comes up or something from the subconscious comes up and we stagnate and we have to deal with it. We have to kind of unblock that sink. I always see that visual. Um, it's like when we, when we remove that block, you know, the energy or the water can flow again. So that's what I'm feeling here. I mean, with double threes, it could have been some kind of third party energy in, in love or even in business career, a meddler, there could be a meddler on the path here that, that um, needs to be communicated with um, in a clear way. So that's what I'm seeing here, there's a hurt, there's something to be released, because the Ten of Wands is a completion and it is releasing something that has been stressful for you, that has been a point of tension, a weight on your shoulders. Um, it can be burnout as well, like some of you might be kind of burnt out in this process. Um, and you'll see that, you know, the person that carries 10 wands, they can't see where they're going anymore. Cause so there's a sense here that we could get lost in that, maybe lost in the creative process, lost in your own process. When we release and deal with whatever this hurt is, you know, you're going to be able to open up that vision again and see all these different pathways and opportunities 
to get to the Ten of Cups, you know, not just the one that you're on that could be becoming, you know, burdensome. The Three of Pentacles says, um, use your network, you know, is there other people to help you along the way here? Um, it is an energy of, of rebuilding again after releasing the, the pains or dealing with the, the hurts head on. It's also an energy of, you know, learning and being the apprentice of life. It's saying that there is a, a key lesson here that, that we might be learning that's fundamental to um, the new direction. And it's through, you know, taking those learnings and lessons from the hurts of the past or of the present that makes us twice as strong to move forward um, into the next part of this journey. So that's what I'm seeing there, Capricorn. There's some kind of hurdle there to get over that's going to unblock things for you. Because in the near future outcome, we've got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Crystals, and the Ace of Swords. So here you are, and things are moving again. Um, you know, that the Ace of Swords is, is a new beginning, yes. It can be a new beginning that comes after a truth is exposed. So with that Seven of Swords, there could have been somebody that is kind of doing something behind the scenes that's not in your best interest, and that could be exposed here. There could be an, a truthful communication that goes down. This is like all about being honest, authentic, communicating, you know, being straightforward, holding boundaries. But it's also a card of victory. It really says that you're going to have victory, Capricorn, um, over this Ten of Wands. And it's that that propels you forward, that gives you the next part of your, of your strategy. You know, it's like the new battle plan here with the Ace of Swords. And then there you go, you know, out there discovering, learning, planting those seeds for the future again. Like the Knight of Pentacles is about, you know, taking the practical, efficient, methodical steps to, um, in the writer version of this card, we see a knight and he's he's working the land to take the seed. And, you know, it's quite a, quite a process, but he knows if he does that properly, if he lays the foundation like the emperor would, then those seeds in the next season, which, hey, isn't really that far away when you think about it, are going to flourish and give him or her the result, the Ten of Cups that they desire. So this is about what steps do we need to take? Well, we've released the Ten of Wands, we've addressed the heartbreak, we've done the healing. Now we can plant the seeds that are going to grow and flourish. Um, the Page of Wands here is about, you know, new discoveries, discovering growth, Again, this is the Ace of Wands, so it's about passion, purpose, Dharma, rediscovering that purpose again after this hurdle with a new sense of growth. There could have been a little bit of a moment of feeling a bit in the desert, out to sea, but now, one, two, three, 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 we are getting on with creating, we are connecting back with life purpose, and we are taking the inspired action with the Ace of Wands to get there, and we are taking the efficient practical resourceful steps of the knight of pentacles to get there this is an energy that says be patient you know sometimes good things take time together the page of wands and the ace of swords says some of you are receiving some kind of positive or good news um, could be relating to that situation that hurdle could be some good news that you have been waiting for something in the planning process could be funding with the Knight of Pentacles, um, some kind of resource, resourcing. You might have been uh, waiting for a studio space, for an office space, um, an investor, something like that. I really feel that some of you could receive some good news, uh, something to do with the resources that are required in order for you to, to meet this purpose. Oh, look who is again, Seven of Swords. But this is the outcome, and I'm not saying it's going to unfold this week. I mean, I'm actually going to say it's not, because you've got the Knight of Pentacles here that says, you know, good things take time, but if you plant those seeds and you take those steps and you put that energy and enthusiasm behind it, this is where we can end up. This is the Dharma. This is the best life. This is the happy ever after. Whatever that means for you. For many, it's, you know, having you know a great partner, maybe kids, house, and a beautiful place but a rainbow of blessings as well. The rainbow of blessings doesn't just come out of the sky in, you know, and it's just there to provide no matter what we do. It's a process. 
a process of releasing what's not in alignment, a process of giving energy out, a process of remaining open to receive. It is an energy exchange. But if we keep working that process, then, you know, we are provided for by the universe and we can use that energy, we can use those resources to achieve our life's purpose, our dharma. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, so it won't be for everybody um, this week. If you're called to share, please do leave me a comment. I read each and every one, and I do try to respond to as many as I can. Helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies, and I will see you back here next week for another message. <laughs>